Cash Hollister, CR, Jiggy Jack TV, Fuck Hey. You know who wins? Bruce this wins. Guy wins. Right now, you're trying to figure out how great I am. Thank you, Jiggy Jag. That's what? I am that great. <laughs> it's okay, but we all know that Batman is better. I'm talking to Matthew. All right, we're back here on Jiggy Jag TV here at Community Access Television, the lowest rated show on access, but number one in hell. And that clapping is not for me. That is for Boris, the coach. He's in the building. He's calling plays. You got Jared the Animal Steel over behind Ninja Larry, and then, of course, Ann Cheever's with us. I am, of course, Jigman Freud, the master debater. And um, go ahead and introduce yourselves, gentlemen, so the old ladies know where to write the complaint letters. Complaint letters can go to uh, Groove. <laughs> My, I'm Soak. Soak. I'm from Los Angeles, California. God damn, what the hell are you doing in the Blue Goat? <laughs> I actually have family. Believe it or not, I was born in Dodge City, Kansas, and moved to the Bay Area within my first year. And then I've been back and forth, lived in Hawaii. I'm an old surfer. And so I chased waves for a while. And music and waves, man, that's been my, that's been it. Sir, directing the complaint letters to you, sir. Introduce yourself. <laughs> I'm Groove, I'm from the East Coast, east of Windsor, New Jersey. Rock Bristol, I'm straight up from here, Kansas, 316, Wichita. Oh, I feel sorry for you. All you have is T95. <laughs> and you are? SK1. SK1, isn't that a shoe? A band? What is that? That's you. Okay. <laughs> That's right. He, we had a rap battle here two weeks ago. Come, you weren't here. Okay. <laughs> so, uh, gentlemen, what what the hell are you doing playing in the Blue Goat in Salina, Kansas, of all places? Last night, that asked us if we wanted to be a part of the show. Um, Groove and I are both. We have done our time out in L.A. Played Hollywood, did the whole Hollywood thing. In the late '90s, we ran into each other out there. We were in separate bands. We both have family connections back here in the Midwest. I come back here, every time I go broke, I come back here. So I come back, I wander into Guitar Center and I see him. And we had always talked about coming back to the Midwest where everything's cheap. The recording costs are cheap. Your musicians don't have the asshole. Everything's cheap, I love that. Your bookers are cheap, your crack is pretty cheap. Um, the heroin's expensive, but you know. Boris knows that. <laughs> God. And he bought into it. And he did. I was saying, Boris, where's, where's, the, where's the oxys at? Where's the oxys, Boris? But so we came out here, man, just with, with the idea of putting something together. But we never really hooked. And then I ran into him, and we decided, what the hell? I call my boy. He's from Crystal River, Florida. I call SK, and I said, dude, we're putting this project together. But we didn't have a guitar player. And we went through a lot of guitar players in the city of Wichita, and you got a lot of uh, pricks. I'll be straight up, I'll say it. I don't care what they think of me. Uh, there are, they have a lot of egos out there, man. And we 
He goes in Wichita? I know. Who would have thunk it? I don't know. I don't know. I'm talking to you, Rocket Girl in T95. Go ahead. Hey, Red, we, we say a piece, baby. We love you. But we, we ended up finding the kid. Yep. He came in, basically, in the Guitar Center, and Groove saw him, told me about him. We talked to him a little bit. You just walked into Guitar Center and saw him, and you're like, hey, you're in the band. Yeah, no, nah, he listened to him play. I listened to him play, but I was he, pretty much. He saw me walk up. You just hung out in Guitar Center, and you were off and running. I would just always hang at Guitar Center, you know, when I was feeling down or something, I had a little bit of the case of the blues, and I'd go in and uh, play me a real nice guitar, and they uh, found me, so. Well, hell. decided that, that we were going to put him in, yeah, and we tried, like I said, we tried different bass players out here, we've tried different, Groove and I have been the nucleus of it, and now we have the four-way. <laughs> and we have pictures for sale on the internet of the four-way, if you'd actually like to, you know, no, never mind, never mind. <laughs> can you can you can you use PayPal? Two ninety five a minute. Tax deductible. You're 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 a non profit with with, with with your porn pics. Exactly, because if you're a rock and roll band, you are a non profit. I promise. If you're a cable host, you're non profit. But um so so gentlemen, how how far can this thing go? How far can you guys We've already got Oh my God! We have a production company that's in Los Angeles that's talking to us. Uh, we have Swede Metal Records that have hit us up and want submissions. They want to they want to sign us onto the roster, and they are from, as the label would suggest, Sweden. Roadrunner Records has contacted us. Um, God, who else? Who else? Why us Records? Why us Records out of the East Coast has contacted us. It could go as far as we want to take it. Wow. <laughs> you got you guys aren't fucking around. We're not fucking around and we're not Wichita and stuff and I'm not putting down the dub K. I like it out here. I can I can afford to live here, but this is basically practice ground, man. Yeah. This is knocking the dust off, this is getting the kid used to the, some bigger stages and we're off, man. We've got management that's uh, from Los Angeles, but he lives in Oklahoma City right now and is putting us in the Diamond Ballroom. Uh, we're going to hit You've got a nice little corridor here. You've got Dallas, Oklahoma City, Wichita, Kansas City, Omaha. You can hit all that, and uh, it's not a pay-to-play racket like Los Angeles. <laughs> I'm not paying to play again. Thank you. I just I can't believe that bands have to pay to play. I just... And the way they disguise that is, is you sell so many tickets. Okay, if you sell 350 tickets for a dollar a piece, you can play the whiskey on a Thursday night at 7 o'clock when nobody's there. Who gives a shit? I'll come out here and play for the Kansas crowds or for the Midwest crowds, you know, and some of them eat it up. Some of them have no fucking idea what to think of us. You know, we're dressed a little different. You hear what's going on stage right now. It's, it's a little different, man. And some of them really don't know what to think, and that's the way we love it. We don't want them to know what to think. We want to be in their face. Be a little scared? Yeah, fuck yeah. Please do. Where'd the name come from? Who came up with the name? We did. A combination of uh, Roxy and Hollywood and, 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 yeah. and, and Vine. And, uh, Vine is where you can get some very decent hookers on yeah. in Hollywood. <laughs> we're, we're originally, decent, not, not great. <laughs> not great. <laughs> we're originally kind of doing a more of a, uh, even a heavier than what we're doing now. And at that time, we were working with the name Rachel's Vine, but it just didn't work out. And we re, we just re, reworked it. Uh, decided to be true to ourselves. Uh, we are, we're LA. Man. We're we're LA. You know, I mean, we're we're old school, but new school. And that's the thing about this band is because we bring all of that into the picture. You know, uh, the greatest thing about Roxy Vine is we have a brotherhood. And until you have that unity within the family. The music is going to be lacking. Now that we have that, we can make real music that we believe in because we believe in one another. You, know, so. you, guys, you guys sound fabulous out there. That was a great fucking show, man. I appreciate that, man. A lot of going through and, and ripping through musicians out here in the, in the Midwest wasn't lack of ability. There's a lot of talent out oh, here. Yeah, a lot of talent. But it's a matter of the brotherhood. Who can, you know, yeah. because I'm not in this to deal with pricks and assholes. 
If I did that, I'd stay out in LA. Yeah, exactly. I'll stay out in LA and I'll deal with it that way, man. You know, but we come out here and we find brotherhood. SK and I go back 20 years, man. You know, and as soon as we had a gig come up, we, uh, when I had an opening for him, man, I called him up and I called you in what? February, and by March, he was here. I called up my boss and said, I quit. <laughs> you just called your boss and said, I'm, I'm done. Peace, and I'm out of 5,000. I'm out. Bowdy, bowdy, baby, we out. And that's what it was. And, and, it's and, and the kid was very fortunate because he was raised in really good music, and he's got a great feel for it. Yeah. He understands the Stones and different <laughs> bands that have that kind of heart, and he came in, and uh, <coughs> I used to see him come in the Guitar Center, and uh, he would play, and people would kind of make fun of him, and I knew right then he was the right person. That was the right because, one right because, there, baby. You know, <laughs> he's caught there you there, go, bro. You know, drawing you, attention. Yeah. Doing the whole, you oh, know, yeah. you know, when, when you make people sit back and go, oh, what a, I want him. <laughs> I want him in my band. You know. So what's the uh, website MySpace where people can check you guys out? MySpace, uh, MySpace.com slash Roxy Vine, R-O-X-X-I-E. Now we've got one more question, and it's the odd question, and I go to the book of stupid questions for it. I used to ask the question, if you were a dildo, what would you be named? And there were a lot of bands that got offended by it, so I'm like, fuck it. Yo, yeah. We're serious musicians. What are you asking us that for? I'm like, have you seen my show? Christ. <laughs> okay. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> okay, where do you think the quote unquote cool people are in heaven or in hell? The cool people are in heaven or in hell. Oh my gosh. We hanging in limbo, baby. We hanging in limbo. That's where we're at. Oh man. I guess it. It really depends upon your definition of cool. You exactly. know? So, because, I mean, uh, I mean I certainly know. to the fact that if they're in hell, <laughs> the temperature is not cool. <laughs> Where are they? Exactly. Heaven or hell, brother? That's a hard question. I'm, I, I feel the same way. I'm like, I'm stuck in between three worlds here, up, and below. That's right. Hi, right, brother. Jump in there. I'm going to have to go with the old limbo. <laughs> Fuck them. <laughs> Perfect. There you go. Well, gentlemen, uh, next couple of months, where are you guys going to be at, where people can catch you guys? We'll be around Oklahoma City. Uh, they already talked to us. They want us to come back here. And uh, I, I'm thinking we're going to see you all again, man, real soon. We'll yeah, see you all again real soon. We'll be here with, um, with uh, hanging out with the guys from Faster Pussycat. They're old bros of ours. So They're we'll friends of ours, Faster Pussycat, Bang Tango. We've, we've shared stages with all of them, man. So we'll be up here just, we'll be up here partying though. Not, we're not working that weekend. That's just partying. Well, see, I was thinking, fuck, are you guys gonna get on that show? <laughs> well, we'd love, I wouldn't mind jumping on the tour with them. I wouldn't mind jumping on that tour, but right now we're just gonna come up and see some bros, man. They from Hollywood, you know, they living out there. Um, so we're gonna come see them. I haven't seen them for a while. So. What'd you think of that stage and the sound and everything? Else? Love it, love it. You guys, the Blue Goat has killer sound, man. Their stage is phenomenal. The light show is great. Jump in there, brother. Well, how'd you get the name Blue Goat? Where'd that come from? Actually, the old owners just called it the Blue Goat just for the hell of it. And they spent a ton of money on the sound, and then they didn't know how to book anything right, and they went out of business. And they sold it to Brian, and he brought in a whole bunch of fucking the light system yeah, and so we've heard blue balls but we've not heard blue goat so this is the first course well, it, it looks like you know you think okay blue goat it's at a bar it's a bar in Salina Kansas you're like what the fuck and you come in and you play on this stage and it's like it's got sound and lights like I was a goat milking contest or something man <laughs> a and goat roper and check it out. It's actually a, a killer bar. It's a killer, killer club, man. Or, or very crisp, clean, we can 
everything was equalized out very well. Very well. Well, and they got the same kind of lights that the Lizards Lounge and Wichita has, only the guys at the Lizards Lounge don't know how to program their lights. <laughs> so you're red for a song, you're blue for a song. We're finding a lot of clubs in Wichita lack. I'm just going to leave it at that. A lot of clubs in Wichita. Yes, they do. Um, I don't wanna and I am not a fan. No, no, they, they just lack. They just lack. Yeah. Yeah. That's how much we think of the Dub K in the Midwest. But, but. <laughs> well, thank you, gentlemen. I appreciate this. Thanks for doing this. And uh, let's go watch and perform here on Jiggy Jake TV.
sit down at rock and roll shows here in Kansas or do you actually get up and come fucking interact with us or I'm just trying to figure the rules out here get up and uh, jump with this or uh, you can sit there and clap and drink because I promise you this much the more you drink the better we sound <laughs> They sit us down, we just uh, stop our EP. You can grab them. They're somewhere over here at one of these tables. We have CDs to give away. You can, you can have them, please. They make one cool beer coaster, man, I'm telling you. Come on.
Oh! <laughs>